everybody's asking me how long it's been since I won, so I uh, got it done today in uh, unreal conditions. It was a little bit of uh, mudder all weekend, but like what, an hour before the race, maybe 30 minutes, the sun came out and uh, we cleared the mud off by lap three, so it ended up being pretty epic. Yeah, on to 29 ne next. Uh, what do you think about that track? Yeah, let's gear them up and let's go fast. What are we, what are we hitting this year? 100 or uh, 96? Let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Want to thank anyone? Yeah, the whole FMF Red Bull KTM team, uh, my parents, my girlfriend, uh, my brother, my trainer Jared Becker, uh, the whole team, IMS, Dunlop Tires, my mechanic Bobby D, boys at WP Suspension, and uh, yeah, everybody that's a part of the whole KTM team. Thank you. All in all, great day. I got a bad start. We got to fix those, and it's frustrating as I'll get out. But you know, if we if we don't have anything to fix, we don't know what we need to work on throughout the week. There's always things that we can work on, and it was a it was a good hard fought race. I felt good out there. The track was gnarly the first lap, and, and like first few laps leading into it. But all in all, I was super happy with my performance. I started kind of getting into a groove. I feel feel good and comfortable with what the performance is. The lappers were a struggle, definitely frustrating. But that's just racing. No one could know. No one knew who you were when you were coming up on them, so they didn't know if they were somebody that we were they were racing. Um, so that added some challenge to it, but it was a good day. The road great, it was sweet, track was absolutely epic. I don't think it could have turned out any better. Uh, the start was absolutely terrible. They held it for like a minute when they after the 30 second border dropped. So that, I like let off the gas and then I looked up and they were, everyone was still like ready. So I revved it and then the gate dropped and I don't know, I came out like fifth and uh, goggles exploded the first lap, ditched them in Boy Scout. We still had about 10, it seemed like forever, right? 10 minutes, it was probably like five, but uh, I mean, first lap was still muddy and I was just getting blasted and passed and couldn't see and pitted, came back to third, hard charge. Actually caught up to the leaders very well and uh, I just think uh, the lines changed a little bit after the pit and I should have maybe changed them as well, but I was in such a like charge mode already that I, making that much time up was like hard to change, right? So uh, kind of got away from me, but we were on par to uh, you know be up be up in there and uh, looking forward to the tracks to come. Colt Neck, Redford Hatch Racing, Atlas Power Sports, uh, Aaron Wolf Boy Silver Kawasaki, and. Uh, we're here round three in GPC at Glen Helen. Had a picture perfect day. Um, super muddy, got a lot of rain over the last couple days and the uh, track was gnarly, but I got the whole shot today and that was it, smooth sailing from there. Uh, led every lap to the finish, so uh, couldn't ask for a much better day. Who would you like to thank? Uh, Hatch Racing, Atlas Power Sports, uh, Wolf Voiceover, Kawasaki, uh, Precision Concepts, Hoosier Tires, uh, O'Neill, X brand goggles, Law Tigers, uh, FMF, IMS, uh, just everybody who helps out the program, and I'm uh, it's just stoked, really stoked. So thank you. Yeah, good day. Uh, yeah, got a good start. Crashed twice first lap, and then uh, yeah, just had to come for the pack. End up second for the day. Um, take the positives out of it. You know, obviously we always want to win. So uh, yeah, second for uh, what we got dealt with today, and yeah, can't complain. And yeah, bike was good. I'm, I'm healthy, so I uh, look forward to the next round. Still in the fight, obviously, right? Yeah, that's it. Still in the fight. Still the points lead. So uh, yeah, that's another positive, and I'm um, just gonna keep moving forward. This is the first NGPC podium, which is good, being that uh, the first couple rounds were pretty rough. So it, it feels good to uh, yeah be back up here. Where did you start at? Like, how did you shuffle in in the first couple laps? Uh, I mean, I got a terrible start, um, and I'm like. I came around first lap and, and I passed a good amount of people, but I had no clue where I'm at, you know? And I, I came around first lap into the pits and my dad had uh, third place on the pit board. And even that, I'm like, no, nah, dude, no way, no way. And then second lap, third place again. And I'm like, okay, cool, we're, we're, we're in a good groove. And uh, yeah, from there we were able to make a, a good bit of time up on fourth place. And honestly, I have a pretty comfortable race like all the way to the end. Awesome. Was it pretty gnarly out there today? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty gnarly. I mean, I, I'm pretty pumped to uh, to do as well as I did on uh, a mutter because I've had a couple mutters here and they haven't got my way. So it's uh, it's a testament to the the work we're putting in technique wise and uh, yeah.
mentally. So yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Anybody that you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank Gainslinger Human Performance, uh, CJ Sports Grill and Turf Club, uh, O'Neill Pro Circuit, EBS, uh, Twisted Development, um, the Lab uh, Performance, and uh, everybody else, man. You guys are awesome. Good day. Got the whole shot. Uh, little fire drill, you know, before the start. Had to switch a couple things over to my practice bike because my race bike wasn't running right. Uh, but, you know, pulled the whole shot, ripped the whole shot, and we're stoked on that. And uh, kind of made a little mistake once we got out of everybody's vision, but uh, made up, you know, made up time quick, got back in the lead, like right before we dropped back into Boy Scout, and then kind of just maintained the lead from there. You know, obviously I knew she would be coming behind me the whole time. Obviously it's been me chasing her the last two rounds. So, you know, we're stoked with ending up on the top step finally. You know, like you said, it's been a long time coming and uh, we're stoked to be on top. and. We're stoked to, you know, lead basically from start to finish. So that's honestly a big statement in my book. But we're happy with it and we're happy with where we're at. I came this morning and didn't think it would be like this. But, um, you know, you can't control Mother Nature. And I knew I wasn't too bad of a mud rider. And you just kind of have to come in, come in with a positive attitude. And so I didn't know what to expect first lap. And I, I kind of were real cautious. Um, learned from last year, like if I send it on the first lap and I make mistakes, like it just cost me my whole race. So definitely learned a lot from last year and tried coming in this year way better. And um, yeah, the second lap I found a lot of my groove and I caught her and they said like my lap times were way faster than her. So I know I'm a good rider, but it just it didn't come off. Can't win them all. Um, had some bike issues and, and a couple unfortunate moments, but I gotta take the pauses out. You can't be too mad. You know, I finished and nursed the bike the last lap and I rode fine like when I would catch her, but crap happens. <laughs> Didn't know where that goes, but, but yeah. Can't be too mad. I'm excited going to 29 Palms. I won last year and just try to keep the ball rolling. And it's just a bump in the road. I'm not too down on myself about it. And Anybody you want to thank? I'd like to thank my parents and my family, uh, the whole SLR team. They really kicked butt with trying to do this mo whole mud thing today, and I couldn't be more proud of everybody. Um, the whole Skechers, Honda, and um, Monster, Fly, Scott Goggles really helped me out today, and I literally wore one pair of goggles the whole time. Uh, but just everyone behind me, thank you so much. Hey guys, Caitlin Jacobs here. We're here at uh, round three. To think. The whole RPM, FMF, KTM racing team, Moose, CD, uh, Alpine Stars, Precision Concepts, Robbie Bell, FMF, AEO, and my dad.